Hey everybody, it's Nick from NW Percussion. So today we're going to be reviewing and setting up the BCX tactile monitoring system from the company Porter and Davey. It's a pretty sweet system and it comes with this sweet case. So let's get into it. Okay, so when you first get the unit and you unpack it all, you're going to have these parts. You're going to have the drum throne top, the throne base, and the engine. You're also going to be given a speak on cable. The speak on cable links the drum throne top to the monitoring engine. So to connect those, you just take your speak on cable and plug it into the drum throne top and then to the engine where it says out. Then what we have to do is we have to put our throne top on the throne base like this. Tighten it, make sure it's all secure. And then you're going to need to plug in an XLR cable, which isn't provided. So you're going to have to get your own XLR cable and you plug it in to the in um, input on the unit. Then on the other end of the XLR, you're going to have your bass drum mic going into your bass drum. Okay, once that's all done, you're going to turn on your unit. Um, I would start with the gain and the master volume at zero and then adjust accordingly. You don't want the unit um, to be clipping all the time, so you don't want this red light to come on all the time. It can come on a little bit of the time, but make sure it's um, enough of a signal where you can feel it, but not so much that it's clipping all the time and overdriving the unit. Okay, and it's just that simple. So hopefully you enjoyed that uh, setup video. As you can see, it's super easy, super slick to use. So I just wanted to talk now about why you would buy it or where it's most useful. So I bought this unit because I joined like a professional slash semi-professional band called the River Junction Band. And what I found was there'd be venues that I would play and I just could not hear my bass drum at all. Like the subs were in front, the mains were in front. I had my in-ears, but they could not, they couldn't pick up the low frequency. And I felt like it was changing the way I was playing. I was, my leg was getting tired. It was, it was, it was um, and, and, and the biggest thing is it feels awful not to be able to hear your bass drum. You, you know, is it there? I don't know. And, and then you play worse and you, you know, even if you really nail the gig, you don't feel like you nailed it. So I bought this BCX because it was the cheapest one I could get from Porter and Davey. And I've used it three or four times now and it just makes a world of difference. It is so much more fun playing with it than without it. And the only thing I would say is do not try this and play a gig unless you're ready to buy it. Like don't, don't borrow it from a friend and then go play because you will buy one. And if you don't have the money, I don't, I don't wanna put you in debt. But if you do have the money, I would highly recommend this. Um, everything about it is just absolutely wonderful for the touring drummer. Um, the carrying case, it has this nice little divider in it. It's pretty indestructible and you, you really feel supported by the company. Um, Porter and Davies, there was a little issue with my payment, like it's, you know, because they, they're in England and I'm in Canada, it took a while to go through, but they were very responsive to all my emails and all my questions I had about it. And yeah, I've, I've had nothing but good experience with this. I also teach a lot and I find that it, uh, it allows people to learn more quickly or to at least feel the bass drum and, and enjoy the drum set more. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any more questions about it and uh, let me know if there's any other gear you want me to cover. Thanks so much.